How you doing guys? We're back. I'm going to take a real quick short video still discussing some snails and what's going to happen with the big tank and some of the fish that I have in mind with putting in there. So right here we got our five gallon beta bowl with some cherry shrimps and two golden snails. This tank will be upgrading soon. The beta will be coming out along with the snails and it will be diverse into just a... Uh, a bowl for cherry shrimps but what we have here our snails decided to continue to mate continue to lay some clutches and here we go one right here now this clutch is going to take a long time to remove from there because it's continuously being wet by the air stone so all i gotta do is move the air stone out and give it about 24 to 48 hours to dry up and then i can remove it so i'm going to help you guys out real quick a lot of you hit me up DMing me on Instagram and stuff like that. And your biggest issues are usually snails and their babies. And it's very easy to get rid of snails. It's not hard at all. People make it seem difficult because they're not educated on them. And that's the biggest problem in this uh, hobby. We buy things we don't know about without researching them first. So, with this snail clutch right here. What you do is, if you catch it on time like this, you get about 24 hours to 48 hours to dry up, and then you can simply remove it by just taking your four fingers, pressing it up against it, and then just removing it like that. Once you do that, you can toss it in a Ziploc bag and stick it in your freezer, let it freeze, trash day comes, toss it in the trash, you don't have to worry about snails. Another thing you can do, um, you can remove it, and toss it in a device like this and this is an incubator meaning you might not want to get rid of all of the snails you might want to keep four or five of them maybe six of them for your uh, other tanks maybe you don't want a hundred snails in one tank you want to split them up so you want to hatch them but not in that tank so here goes an incubator it's very simple you can do this many different ways you take a little bit of water some rocks stack them on top of each other Get yourself a she shell. They're very easy to come by. You get them at PetSmart, Petco, Monster Pet, or any local pet store. They should have them. Then you just sit your nice little eggs right on top. Like that. There's no water on them, hitting them, keeping them nice, sedated, so that when it's time to hatch, they can hatch. Because if you put them in water, they're going to drown. This way, when they do hatch, or they need help hatching and you can break it apart into the water letting them hatch that way you can go in there let them get big enough to where you can choose which ones you want to keep and split them up into certain tanks so this is another way so you just have a nice little lid poke some hold on it so that some humidity can build up in there now the water is going to evaporate a little bit of course you can always refill that with tank water from your tank where they were hatched in. Another way is if you don't want to go through the whole rocks and the she shell wasting money, if you have bigger rocks like these in aquarium that already exist, you can pull that out, stick it in there. Make sure that they're pretty flat though. You want flat rocks like this rock here. And you can sit there on that. You can't do that, you can't get your hand on any type of rocks or any shells. You take a damp or a moist uh, paper towel, fold it up, just lay it on the bottom, and you lay the uh, clutch, which is the egg, on top of that. The only bad thing about it is you're going to have to make sure that you're checking up on it because you don't want them hatching in that. It will be very hard to remove them with the paper towel in there. You can use mason jars. Uh, multiple things you can cut a water bottle in half um, food containers that you have big containers of food and you can cut them open it doesn't matter there's many ways you can uh, incubate them but some people add heating pads and things like that or uh, heaters in the in their tanks and stuff like that to hash them in but this is the fastest thing you can do let's say your snails are already hatched you missed out you couldn't get to it on time um, what can you do the snails get all over your plants, all onto the rocks. You can do the water bottle trick. Take a water bottle, fill it with some food, some shrimp uh, food, or some bug bites, or some flakes, 
something that could stay inside of a water bottle, blood worms, all those baby snails are gonna make their worry into that. And you just remove it and you can put it into another tank or freeze it, however you want to get rid of the snails. Throw some bleach in that bottle, it's up to you. If you wanna kill them or you know a pond around your way where it has already snails in it, you can introduce those snails there. I wouldn't um, suggest that. You never want to um, take what you have at home and introduce it to the wild because you can do some damage to your ecosystem. But um, in certain places like where I'm at, I have a pond near my house <clears throat> that I know of where the lady that owns the land has a pond already filled with apple snails that she put in there a long time ago and she's fine with people putting snails in there. So that's fine. There's many ways to remove them. You can get a big piece of lettuce, put the piece of lettuce in there, give it an hour or two, maybe four hours. All them snails will be on it. You lift it up, you should see a bunch of snails on there. Now let's go to the 29 gallon tank. Remember, I was having issues with ammonia on this tank. Issues with pH on this tank. I got the pH up a little bit compared to where it was at. Looking really good. Nitrates. Nitrites or vice versa. I would get those confused. But the water condition is getting closer and ready for fish. I got to do a test for ammonia to see if the ammonia went down. I added some food in here to help cycle the tank a little better. I pulled my device out of my other tank that has beneficial bacteria already built in it and just stuck it in here and it is working beautifully. The tank looks amazing. I, I love it. The white sand, the plants. I just want to add a few more plants and get a little bit more sand for this right here and some smaller black uh, rocks. I even cover this one up over here with some rocks. But it looks good. So what I think I want to do with this tank is, I think I want to add, I think I want to add red cherry barbs. A school of maybe six or seven will look very nice in there. Maybe four quarry cats. So like six or seven cherry barbs, maybe like four or five quarry cats. Um, maybe not this species exactly, but I would love to get some in there. They do a good job at stirring up the sand and keeping it clean. Maybe one albino Briscoe nose plecos. I just love these fish, they're very beautiful. I had one for a long time and he died of some internal bleeding. Don't know how, don't know where it came from. The rest of the tank was very fine, but he had some internal bleeding somehow, somewhere. My favorite fish of them all, the Garami. Maybe a Pro Garami, like this one here, like the one I already have. Or I might do a Sunset Garami, or a Garami in general. I think it would look very beautiful. And then, another favorite fish of mine, the Neon Tetra. Thinking about it, these fish might not be in there. I might just do a all dedicated Tetra tank. Um, I still don't know, these are just some fish that I'm highly recommending but I still want some shrimps I love shrimps I might do a bigger shrimp maybe some uh, bamboo shrimps or something like that or a mango shrimp with some sort of ram possibly here go a few rams I love these fish my local pet store has them so it's not hard for me to get my hands on I can definitely do a pair of these oh they're just so nice look at that those are just a few thoughts of mine of what I want to do with this tank. Tank came out beautiful. You know what? Let's head to the pet store. Here in Peco, if you have issues with cloudy water, I recommend Thing Works Miracle. You don't even have to follow the instruction when using that. I could put two drops in a 30 gallon tank and they'll clear it up real good check this guy out checking out the plants
Now I don't see where it says snail free, so you gotta be careful. What are you call plants? I'm looking for some of this stuff here. So I went to Petco, took a little clip here and there. They didn't really have too much, so I didn't show what they had in stock for fish-wise, but got some more better ideas of maybe what I want to do. They didn't have what I wanted, so I just let that be. So we're gonna we're gonna work this out, man. We're gonna get some good fish uh, and see where this goes. I'm just happy about how far the tank came along and how good it looks. I definitely want some more red in here. Those red plants look good in the tank. Now, yeah, some of these are fake. This is fake. It's a red plant. Fake red. All of these on here are fake. And this one back here is fake. But they look realistic. Like these ones here. Now, I will be pulling out some plants from Debatable when they're ready. Like this one here. That one's almost ready. Uh, if I can see any more. This one over here. There's quite a few in here. That are almost ready to come out. 